Welcome back to the Outdoor Experience with Dale Helgeson. Today I'm here with Robert Sandberg with Windrider. We're going to be talking about his new products for ice fishing or in the winter. It doesn't even have to be ice fishing. I use it when I snow blow. Um, I use it anytime it's cold out. Um, also, one of the benefits of these suits is I use them when it's not ice fishing, but in my boat when it's cold. Um, I fish when it's snow sometimes, so um, that's when the big walleyes like to bite, so that's when we like to focus on fishing. So uh, tell us a little bit about your new suit and some of the benefits of it. Yeah, so, so this is our new Hayward line. Uh, so as you said, you know, we found with our kind of original Boreas line that a lot of guys were using it in the boat, uh, you know, not necessarily just as ice fishing gear. So uh, we designed this kind of Hayward line as something that is going to be a little bit more uh, cross-purpose. So uh, it's got a higher waterproof rating, a 10K waterproof rating, so it's designed as rain gear as well. Uh, so this one is kind of as actually all removable insulation. Uh, it's still a float suit, so the flotation is in that outer shell. But then it's got a zip out liner that has that 120 gram for 3M insulation in it that you can wear just as a soft shell. But then you can still wear that outer shell as rain gear in the yeah, spring and fall. So you know, I'll wear it from 55 down to negative 30. Because it's the same thing in the bibs. You know, the bibs also have that removable insulation, it just snaps out. So it really provides that versatility. And yeah, so, it's really convenient. Yeah, so this suit is 549 So, you know, you start getting up there a little bit more, a few hundred dollars. I thought, let's make something that, you know, isn't just a single season, a single purpose use. Why yeah. give people some kind of good value out of it? Uh, you know, interestingly enough, we found our fourth largest market for our ice, well, we had deemed our ice fishing gear was Texas. Uh, so you know, being from the being from the north, I was like, well, what what were people what are people doing with ice fishing here in Texas? Well, yep. you know, they're out there as you say, you know, and it's 30, 40 degrees. You know, they're out and crappie fishing is the big thing down there. Yep. So they're out crappie fishing at 30, 40 degrees, and you know, when you're running across the boat across the water at 50 miles an hour, it gets cold. So you know, we kind of want to design that suit that would provide you know that market a little bit kind of more versatility where you know you can wear it yeah as ice fishing gear you know it's got the flotation it's got a ton of warmth and you've got all the insulation in but on the flip side you can also wear it in a little bit warmer weather so you don't have to buy you know insulated rain gear you don't have to buy a flotation suit you then don't have to you know uh, i'm gonna say, i will say it's still not uh you know summer rain gear because that outer shell still does that have have that layer of foam flotation in it, which is just a great benefit, especially in the cold. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, I, and people don't realize that when, even when they're fishing, people uh, fall in. Yeah. To have that security of having a flotation jacket on in your boat is a huge benefit. I've fallen out of a boat before, and it's not fun, especially in the spring or winter when it's cold. Yeah. Um, to have that security, and it's not a life preserver, but it will keep you above water yeah. so you can get back to your boat, which is important. And people don't really think about that because they don't always wear their life jackets. And I'm especially, I'll say, uh, you probably make the mistake of not wearing as much as they should, especially in the colder. Because you know, when I'm yep. wearing heavier duty gear, like you know, trying to get that life jacket over on top of it, it gets, gets kind of bulky. So yeah, that's why we wanted the float suit aspect and something that was still going to be able to work in that so it's kind of mid mid temperature where the water's still going to be chilly. You go in, it's, it's going to be dangerous. So, you know, it's got multiple waterproof zippers on it. Once again, the, the fleece lined hand warmer pockets here. Uh, just tons of pockets. So you got clips to attach you know, for your safety clip, which is now yep. a mandatory thing in Minnesota to be wearing that. If you're well, and I, I use a lot of them too. I use the ones on the bibs because they have them on the bibs too. I use them for my snap sinkers for setting my tip up line. Or I, I'll even uh, I'll have some forceps that I'll hook on there so I always have pliers or a fishing towel. Yeah. I clip them on. It's just convenient to have that stuff with me all the time. So it makes it very useful. Um, talk about some of the other benefits of like the bibs. Yeah. So again, bibs. Same thing, they've got the built-in flotation, the uh, waterproof zipper on it. Once again, double zipper for those uh, bathroom emergencies. Uh, got, got front pockets you know, for the 
for your cell phone, what if you're especially if you're you know not wearing the jacket, which oftentimes I'm ice yep. machine and moving around and not wearing yeah, it. Yeah, if so. you're getting in and out of an ice shack, you get warm. Exactly. It's nice to be able to have it with you. Yeah, yeah. So you know, still same fleece line hand warmer pockets. You know, reinforced knees, reinforced seats. Got to cinch, a little bit of cinch to get in, especially because. When you take the, the liner out, it does get a little bit you know, looser. Yep. You don't have that, yeah. you know, stitch it a little bit tighter to just yeah, that's be a, a great more, idea. Be a little more comfortable. So, yeah, so this is our, our Hayward series, really just kind of designed for the fishermen. And yeah. then obviously the, uh, you know, the inseam on these is adjustable. So you can just open open this up and then, and then adjust it for length. So they tend to run a little bit long, just make it yeah. easier and then you can adjust it up for... Well, and I like these little elastic snaps on it because I snap them around my boots. Sure. Yeah. But they give you a little stretch, you know, because these things are elastic. So I, I strap them around my boots to keep the water off my boots, even though my boots are waterproof. Sure. It's still nice to keep it off the laces and stuff yeah. so it doesn't freeze out. Yeah, and maybe one of the other things people oftentimes ask, like, you know, how do how do float suits work? So we kind of show it here. We cut cut a jacket open. So there's actually thin layers of closed cell foam that are stitched into the jacket, and that's how a float suits work. So you know, basically, it's the same material that a life jacket is going to be yep. made of. Obviously, thinner, a little bit more flexible, uh, but you know, it provides that foam flotation to give you that buoyancy. So if you go in, it's going to yeah, stay yep. on the surface. And so how long how long can you float with this? So about two hours, you know, you're going to oh, be, long time. <laughs> you're gonna be floating longer than you you want to. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah it's, it's, for sure. You know, you say you keep a 300 pound person up for you know, two plus hours. So, you know, if you go through in that cold of water, you're going to want to get out faster than that. Yeah, uh, for sure. But and I've fallen through the ice and it does, it shocks the system. So you do want to get out quick, but you can't always get out quick. No, well, and that's it. You know, it's, the float suits really are about not necessarily you know, keeping you afloat for a long period of time, but it's about giving you that minute, two minutes where that shock kind of hits you yep. to gather your wits and figure out your plan to get out of the water instead of that panic. Like, hey, I've got to stay above the water and figure out how it's going on. It's about keeping that, that mental space open so you can figure out the plan to get out. Well, I want to thank you for your time today. Uh, love the products. Um, looking forward to trying out the new suit and uh, stay tuned we're gonna do another video coming up soon of the flotation suit this winter in the water and I'm gonna test it most people do it off of a pool uh, I'm gonna do it in 150 feet of water with no lifeline and we're gonna put it to the test and I'm a big guy I'm 6'2 250 so we're gonna put it to the test and uh, it's kind of going to be a life or death thing, so stay tuned and look forward to that. So stay tuned for more coming up next. Come on down with me. Get your fishing line. We'll be doing all the fun things that cause us to be losing track of time. Come on down with me. Grab your rod, you'll find. Head for the door Well, we don't have to sleep for Uncle Sam no more